It's about time they freaking did this, man. Let's go. Hey guys, All Little Windows here, and today I'm back with another video. First off, I'm gonna have to apologize for my raspy voice. It's because I am currently sick. I don't know what I have. I don't really feel terrible. I don't think it's like, you know, anything bad or anything. It's just affected my throat mostly. And maybe my ears a little bit, but anyways, that doesn't matter. Today, I am here to show you guys the new Ubi created for Windows 11 build 26040 or 26040. So without further ado, let's go ahead and turn on this virtual machine. Now this is this is also the same for physical hardware as well. Um, a little bit about this build, let me go ahead and pull it open for you guys to read on. This right here is the whole reason I'm making this video. They created a new setup experience that I wanted to uh, make a video on to show you guys. Let's go ahead and turn on this power machine. Well, let's turn on this virtual machine and see what happens. Okay, immediately everything is different. Well, not everything. everything it still has the Windows Arrow ba or Windows 7 Arrow Basic going on here, so it's pretty much still like the Windows 8. I'm sure they'll change it as time goes along, but you're immediately greeted with the language to install and the time and currency format, like immediately. Um, and you got some stuff down here also. This is pretty interesting. It's instead of it just showing Windows and the install button, it asks for this. Let's go ahead and push next. Okay, it's gonna ask for your keyboard, that's fine. Push next again. And so, okay, on the third page, it asks you how to, or what you would like to do with the setup. Apparently, you can launch the legacy experience. I'll have to check that out after I go through this. Uh, okay, so that's pretty interesting. You can't push next until you click the agree here. Pretty, that's, that's, that's a nice addition, I like that. Let's push next here. Obviously, no product key, this is virtual machine. And since there's no product key, it's going to ask you which build of Windows 11 you have purchased. So I'm just going to select Windows 11 Pro for now and push next here. Okay, this is nice. You don't have to scroll through this. You can just leave it here and immediately push accept. But really, they haven't updated it since June 2021. That's kind of shocking, actually. But let's go ahead and just push accept here. I don't really need to worry about it. Searching for disks, huh, that's a new one. Okay, so it's kind of the same stuff, except it has a, like a different button, here, like bring, bring disk online. What does that mean? So normally I don't touch this, I just push next, but let's go ahead and load a little bit, like create partition. Interesting, interesting. Weird. I don't understand what the bring disk online thing is, but that sounds like uh, something that Linux would have, or something similar to Linux. But let's just do this and push next and let it just do its own thing. All right, uh, check to five specifications. It's gonna ask you to, to go here. Wow, that's interesting, okay. I guess let's just go ahead and install. And this looks like the default stuff.
so it appears this setup Ubi is the same. Have they made it to where Pro now asks for your login? That's so weird how it still defaults to a uh, 4x3 aspect ratio. You'd think that would be updated by now, considering everything uses 16x9, pretty much. I mean, it doesn't have to, like, fit the full 1920x1080, but they could still make it at least a little bit 16x9. Interesting. So they still force you, or they force you to do that even on Pro now? That's so lame, Microsoft. Whoa, uh -oh, I found a bug. Let me go ahead and restart. And let's just take a look at the default and see if it has been altered in any way. It probably hasn't, but what does this mean? Clearing 4 gigabytes. I guess I won't be checking it out. Interesting. We've all seen it anyways, I highly doubt it's been altered, so in that case, I know this video was- Oh, hey, what the- Oh, hey, um, I've never actually seen that before. Well, you know what? We've seen it all before. We've seen what it looks like. It's old, so in that case, I know this was a short video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I guess I will see you guys later. Goodbye, guys. Wait a minute. This is all weird. Okay. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys later. Goodbye, guys. And I'm so sorry about my sick voice.